Good morning, everyone. Right now in Cobalt's 10.51 a.m. on Sunday, April 26, 2020. Now for today's announcements. The new art gallery at the museum is open as of today. It's a wonderful gallery with space for paintings, sculptures, and more. The museum's intrepid curator, Blathers, accepts art donations all day every day. But if you'd like to make a donation, please be mindful that there is fake artwork circulating out there. As always, use your best judgment. And of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. If you're interested in participating and have the time, please check in with Tom Nook at Resident Services. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. And welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Horizons. So, um, we're actually playing in the morning this time. Isn't this postcard pretty? I don't want to cover it up with too much of my writing because I think it is pretty and I should let you see it. That is why I'm only writing a few words and then I am done. Very pretty. Um, 83,615 points, rank S. The 70,000 points milestone is something to remember. Congrats. Please accept a small token of our appreciation and admiration. Neat. And a bunch of Nook shopping things, because I'm working on setting up a wand. Um, we got the bronze uh, HHA trophy. Again, I keep wanting to say HRA because Happy Room Academy in the old games. Um, so yeah, it's the morning. I'd know that shining face anyway. How you been, Jonathan? You made the right choice buying that art for me earlier. I've had a lot of folks asking about it. Ah, you know, I really gotta be honest. I think I'm falling for Cobalt. I mean, you got quite a setup here going here and a lot of art fans. So Cobalt wants art and I got art to sell. Might be something to this. But I couldn't sell it to just anybody. I need someone I could trust completely as if they were family. And since we're basically cousins, and because I know you've got an eye for quality, I want it to be you. Want to look at a few things? I've got both art and furniture. Plus, you'd get my cousin's discount, Yin. I knew I could count on you, cousin. That is absolutely the right choice. I've got my boat anchored off the northern shore, and I'm almost done fixing all the leaks. Long story. Come have a look at what I'm selling. You won't regret it. Why do I have a feeling I will regret in fact, regret it. Um, so last time we finished up, um, oh, well, actually we finished setting up the museum uh, to upgrade. And uh, this time we are basically going to uh, see what this new museum is like. So we're going to duck into resident services to do our opening ceremony as per tradition. Uh, we also have a new resident, so that's exciting. Um, I also learned something. Cardboard boxes can be unlocked by, um, checking the recycling bin, basically, um, after a resident moves in, so that's kind of cool, because, you know, they throw away all the packing boxes once they're done packing. Um, I could have used the packing box earlier because I had a cardboard recipe for a, uh, a visitor and I couldn't fulfill their, res their uh, request. Oh, you want to take part in the ceremony? Uh, right now we can hold a ceremony to celebrate the completion of the museum remodel. Want to take part? Splendid. Let's get started. Now then, I'd like to begin our special ceremony celebrating the grand opening of our fancy new museum. Thank you. As I'm sure you've all noticed, Cobalt has gone through marvelous, wonderful changes. Uh, it's all thanks to the wa fine residents of this island who work together daily. Yes, yes, you have my thanks. I'd like to ask Blathers to say a few words as are the representative from our newly remodeled museum. Blathers, if you would, just, um, a word or two? Hoot, indeed, I shall keep this brief. Ahem, dearest residents of Cobalt, it is an honor and a pleasure to take this moment to thank you for your continued support of the museum. Your diligent efforts have turned this museum into the grand, nay, the magnificent attraction it is today. So many fish, so many fossils, so many insects. 
Indeed, all who set foot hoof or paw in this museum have you to thank for the splendors they behold. And now we have opened a new edition, one I have dreamt of since I was but an outlet. Yes, a proper art gallery, one in which we displ shall display proper art, paintings, statues, proper art. By Jove, my cultural and curatorial dreams have come true. Hoot hoot and hooray. I beg your pardon, my enthusiasm has been running at the peak once again. To the point then, as we celebrate this new wing of the museum, I feel I must entreat you. Please continue to donate your acquisitions. Ask this not just for the betterment of the museum, but for the betterment of us all. Hoot, and thank you. Uh, yes. I mean, no, thank you, Blathers, for those many, many, many words of wisdom. Next, a few words from someone whose valuable contributions made this remodel possible. Of course, I mean, Jonathan, our representative, hmm? Anything to add? Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there. Everyone, uh, please get ready to join me in bringing the ceremony to a close. Also, just wishing to take a photo, etc, etc. With hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Cobalt's beautiful museum. Hooray! Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. Alright, so we're back at the town hall, which is what I want. Also, there's Daisy May in the background. Um, I, to be honest, uh, full disclosure, um, yeah, this is not being recorded at, uh, 10 a.m. I haven't time-traveled to separate days yet, I've only time-traveled within the same day, um, and mostly for the sake of, like, videos. Uh, you know, I haven't shown the morning routine yet, so I figure now would be a great time to do so. Um, obviously, um, by about 10 usually everyone should be awake, which is good. Um, so yeah, we have Daisy May, so we're gonna go buy turnips. Uh, really quickly, I want to see what her asking price is. I did show her dialogue before, I don't know if it changes. Good morning. You here to start your Sunday off with some fresh turnips? I've got turnips of plenty, fresh from Sao Jones Stock Market. Wanna buy them for 101 bells each? That's a little steeper than last time. Okie doke, maybe next time. Mmm, that feels risky. That feels... Very risky. I wanted to show you some more reactions today, but I can't remember which one it was. <laughs> it was that one. If you forget something, you're mistaken. Just like this. Just like that. Sometimes it's fun to do it just cause. Where does that star even come from? <laughs> I learned the mistaken reaction. Uh, whoopsie. Fun. Again, I do miss Dr. Shrunk. Uh... This was a lot more convenient, though. Um, so again, I can go either way on this. So, um... We have the museum all up and ready to go. So let's check this little suspicious boat over here. Ah, Jonathan, I'm so glad you made it. So here's the pitch, ready? At Jolly Red's Treasure Trawler, we sell only the finest. And there's nothing finer than fine art and reference am I right? Of course, I can't let these fine things just walk out the door. I gotta limit you to one piece of art per day. It's a hassle, I know, but I hope the cousin's discount will make up for it. Plus, I'll let you buy all the furniture you want, no questions asked. So take a look around, we've got masterpieces by the Great Masters. Plus stuff for your master bedroom. Let me know if you have any questions. Oh boy, this is gonna suck. Can I examine? I won't lie, an awful lot of folks have been asking about buying that serene painting there. Maybe the price scared them off, so I'll sell it to you for 4,980 bells. Um, I wanted a closer look, for sure. Um, is that real? Apparently, like, the 
thing the woman is holding is different, if the painting is fake, that looks like the real deal. Admiring the detail can't blame you, it's extremely detailed, brilliant stuff. And the best part? All that detail could be yours for just 4,980 bells. Ha, ah, you're not going to regret this. I'll just take those bells from you. Yep, it's all there. Congratulations, you're now the proud owner of a serene painting. Been a pleasure doing business with you, cousin. I'll get your art packed up and shipped out tomorrow. So, I'm pretty sure this one is fake. Um, is he gonna let me actually examine them? It's really hard to resist that dynamic painting, isn't it? But sort of policy is one art purchase per customer per day. You can look all you want, though. This one is fake, I'm pretty sure. Um... Because I think the mountain is supposed to be bigger. Never mind, this one's always real according to this walkthrough I found literally during the opening ceremony. <laughs> um, so yeah, that one's always real, so we could have gone with that one too. This one, um, scary painting. So if you have multiple people living in your town, you can easily do this. This one is fake because the eyebrows are in the wrong direction. Um, so that's easy to tell. What else? Uh, again, I just have photos of all of them set up here. Um, so I can easily tell which ones are real and fake in this set here. Um, yeah, some of these are always real, apparently. This one, I don't know. Apparently this one's also always real, so wow, we just got a bunch of always real ones. That's nice. Um... It'll suck next time, when we don't get this lucky. Oh. You won't regret it. So it turns out we actually made the best call, because we bought the one that's all- that is somewhat dodgy. According to this guide at least, the a lot of the others could be real all the time. Um, I'm taking this with a bit of a grain of salt, because... I'm gonna be honest, this update just dropped. So, there is a possibility- oh, wow, I actually never noticed there was a thing down here. <laughs> like a little pathway. Um, I'm mashing Y in case weeds popped up and I can't see them. Um, obviously this update just landed, so maybe the guide might be wrong. So again, taking it with a grain of salt. Um, but again, there are photo guides. I like being able to examine the paintings, because the new leaf. There were a few paintings that were really hard to tell. Um, yeah, some are really difficult. Uh, collecting artwork contributes to the cultural quality of Cobalt, and Nook Inc. It's Nook Inc. will give miles to folks who prove themselves as certain connoisseurs. So I guess that's mean we actually bought the right one, uh, because we got the thing for buying uh, a correct one. So I moved a couple street lamps here, just. Um, to show off some mild changes. Um, I set up a snack machine, as you might have noticed, by Town Hall. Um, outside of that, there isn't a ton that changed. I'm scared about the turnip market. It's like, it could be good or it could be really bad. Um, left that from yesterday. This music is giving me Persona 5 vibes. I think it's like the style of the music. Um, not a complaint, by the way, because I really like Persona 5 soundtrack. Um... Alright, so, um... Oh dear, pardon me. Woohoo, if it isn't Jonathan, I am pleased to say that the art exhibit is finally finished. Your very own donations made it all possible, so to you I am most grateful. The entrance to the gallery is but a chaunt up the stairs. Please do take a gander at your leisure. I am wondering where they would put another building, if I'm being honest. I kind of figured if they were to add something, it would be up here. Um, but with the rumors of adding a cafe, I'm a little concerned. Academic painting. Uh, cool. Richerian man Leonardo da Vinci circa 1487, pen and ink on paper. The drawing is based on the ideal human body ratio estate in De Architura. Um, De Architura was a treatise by v Vitruvius, an architect from the early 1st century BCE. 
Wow, that's way more info than I was expecting. I like it. Um... Yep, plenty of room. It looks like it's only one screen, so it's a little bit different than the others. There are multiple screens. Um, yeah, there's our new art gallery. We have another painting on the way. Um, I will most likely buy turnips off screen. Um, stock up my second floor with as many turnips as I can hold. And, um, next video should be May 1st for May Day. Uh, unless something pops up with Nature Day before then. I think Nature Day ends on the 4th, so if we get any big reward, it will actually be after May Day. Um, so yeah, May Day, then Museum Day, which is late May, and then Wedding Season, so um, that's kind of a quick schedule. Also, we have all of the patterns from Sable. Um, there's quite a few patterns. Um, yeah, I have 800,000 bells. Well, now a little bit less. Or like 797. Um, so we're gonna stock up on turnips. Fingers crossed this doesn't blow up in my face spending, you know, 800,000 bells. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna hope for the best uh, and see how this goes. And <laughs> maybe by next time we'll have a result. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll join me next time for more Animal Crossing New Horizons.